everybody, what's up? I'm going to be doing a full tour of my collection. Uh, I've been meaning to do one of these for a while. Um, I'm also trying a headset mic on my camera today to see if I can get some better audio. But uh, this is going to cover my collection, my wife's collection, um, and even our stuff that's not really a bug. Because um, we got some other really cool stuff in the house. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like this. Um, if you do, uh, leave me a thumbs up and a comment so I know to keep doing stuff like this. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. As you've seen before, this is Meatball, one of my educator spiders. And uh, she's an adult female Grandma Stola Rosia. Uh, she is red phase, as you can see. She's nice and pretty colors. And um, she was uh, procured for me by a friend. And they knew I needed an educator spider that was really docile. And she definitely fits the bill. She's a total sweetheart. Like, it's so funny. I got into the hobby and this was such a common species that everybody had one. You can get them for $10 at any pet store. And now you can't get them at all and they're becoming quite desirable, which is kind of alien to me. But I'm glad I've got one and I'm glad I've got such a good one. This one's going to be a little tricky to show. This is my jumping spider. Um, you can kind of see some whip there up at the top. Like this is where she lives. Um, let me see if she's visible. Oh, yeah, there she is. So yeah, this is my little jumping spider, uh, Phytopus regius. And uh, yeah, just a really cool little spider. I'm very happy I finally added a jumping spider to the collection. So this is my girl Liliana. Uh, she's Chylobrachus fimbriatus. You can kind of see her peeking out down here. Uh, she's an adult female, uh, very healthy. She's been with me for about 13 years uh, since she was really teeny. Uh, she is mean as shit, um, but I absolutely love her. She's a gorgeous spider, great personality, fun to feed. And you can see this cage just got cleaned uh, about two months ago and she's already webbed it up pretty heavily. Uh, don't mind the extra dampness. It's It's been really humid here lately. Uh, all my cages are a little on the damp side. Uh, let me see if I can get her to come out just a tiny bit for the pic video. Well then, she is tearing that straw up. So yeah, you can see the hole in it. That's great. So yeah, that's Liliana. She is one evil bitch. This is my sub-adult female Haitian brown uh, Formictopus cancerides. As you can see, there's that lovely coppery gold color. I still, I don't know why people call them brown. They're just so beautiful. Uh, she's blue for the longest time when she was little and then has just shifted into this great metallic color. And uh, she's... Oh, just totally guessing here. I think she's about five inches in leg span. So she's still got some growing to do. But very, very healthy, happy spider. So I do believe the Latin has changed on these, but I'm not sure. Um, these have always just been cyclosternum fasciatum as far as I know. Um, but I do need to check for a revision because I think I heard that it's been revised. But it's just a little female. Um, she's I think one molt from being full grown. She's about three and a half inches in leg span. But oh man, that abdomen and the carapace, such a beautiful spider. Uh, she's really, really skittish. Uh, actually used to belong to my wife, but she got tired of her bolting whenever she opened the lid. So that she's ended up in my care and I'm pretty damn happy with her. She's Quite a gorgeous little thing. It loves to web up too. Um, doesn't really dig. Just always out in the open, but web everywhere. So this is where my centipede lives. It's uh, Scolopendra polymorpha. I'm going to see if I can find it real quick. It's usually hiding, so chances are good I'm not going to find it in here. I used to keep quite a few centipedes, but... Uh, when we moved up to uh, New York State, we weren't prepared for the uh, the heater in the winter, drying out our tank so much. And I lost all my centipedes, so I've been kind of reluctant to get more. Uh, this one's doing really well, though. It's made it through one winter, but it, yeah, as you can see, she's 
hiding somewhere and I have no idea where. Okay, so our feeders are a type of cockroach called lobster roaches, uh, Nephroida cinerea, I believe is the Latin. And uh, we have several thousand of these guys down here. Um, but yeah, they're about the same size as crickets. Um, their babies are about the same size as pinheads. Uh, the only drawback is they do climb, so we have silicone-based barrier in here. But uh, as you can see, there's there's tons of them in here. Uh, we had to restart the colony, so we're still building numbers back up, but I mean, we've probably got about 2,000 in here. So this is one I'm really reluctant to open the lid for because they are very, very, very fast. Um, you can kind of make out the outline of it there, uh, if you can see the legs. This is a mature male um, Heteropoda venatoria. It's a huntsman spider. Um, let's see, a little less water spotted here. But uh, you can, there he goes, you can see him moving now. He is awesome. This is one of my favorite true spiders. Uh, they're all over the place in Florida where I used to be terrified of them as a kid. Um, you actually see the eye reflecting the, the flash there. That's really cool. Uh, let's see if we can follow him around the side here. There we go, much better view. Uh, he is about five inches in leg span. He's absolutely massive. Uh, really good eater, really fun to watch. Um, usually just chilling out on the top of the container. Just being neat to look at. Um, I love these, I recommend them, but whoo, be ready for a nightmare if this thing gets out on you. Uh, it'll live in your house until it dies for old age. And uh, yeah, they're near impossible to catch if they get away from you. Still, pretty, pretty badass. This right here is my sub-adult Lassiodora parahybana. When I say sub-adult, she looks pretty damn big, which she is. Uh, she's about six inches in leg span now, but these guys get up to about 10. Um, really, really cool spider. Uh, the pink hairs with the black abdomen and uh, black everywhere, really. Just, it, it's such a beautiful contrast. And they're a great giant spider if you really want to have a giant. Uh, they're always out in the open. They're really good for looking at. Uh, great display species. Uh, sorry about the cricket noises. We've, we've got some crickets to feed today because I have a few that don't want to uh, don't want to eat roaches right now. Uh, my jumping spider being one of them. But, uh, but yeah, really, really awesome. Classic bird eater. Uh, good personality. I, I can't say enough good about her. This, this is like, it's one of those spiders that should be in just about every collection. So as a biologist, I'm sure you guys know, I am familiar with quite a few animals in the world. Well, this is my favorite species of animal, period. Um, plant, animal, fungi, everything. Uh, this is probably a hobby classic here, so you all probably recognize her. Uh, this is a very young female uh, Carabina versicolor. Used to be a Vicularia versicolor, recently changed. Um, sadly for me, my uh, PhD project was uh, working on reclassifying this and a bunch of other avicularia. So I got scooped and someone else got to rename my favorite spider, which makes me really sad. Um, I was really looking forward to renaming these. But yeah, you just can't beat the colors. That beautiful blue as babies, and then you get into the violets and reds and greens as adults. Just, oh, I'm in love. Uh, and if you've ever seen any of my tattoo work, really hard to get a video of this part of my arm but I do have a versicolor over my entire forearm so yeah there will be more versicolors in this video this is another spider I've shown recently uh, this is my new educator spider she's a fauna pelma sabani uh, an adult female I think she might have one more molt to go to be mature uh, her name is Skeddy so we have Skeddy and Meatball for my educators. They're both super friendly, uh, great for holding around kids. I don't have to really worry about 
any of them getting flighty or scared or uh, biting me if a kid does something weird like blows on them. But she is so pretty. I love those blue highlights that you can see in just the right light. That and the cream colored tummy on her is just, just gorgeous. Um, she's already taken to filling that water dish with dirt. Uh, when I first got her in here, she filled it with dirt, covered it in web, and flipped it over. So yeah, she's making it clear she doesn't want a water dish, but screw you, you're a big tarantula, you get a water dish. Uh, just something funny. You gotta love the, the quirky behaviors of some of these guys. So she's settling in well. She's my one that doesn't like roaches right now, so she'll be getting one of those chirping, annoying-ass crickets in a little bit. This spider bolted as soon as I picked up the enclosure, but you can still see a butt and some legs poking out up here. This is my Samopius pulker. Um, I'm a big fan of the, the genus as a whole, but the abdomen pattern, the, the beige to black gradient on the abdomen is among my favorite in tarantula coloration. Um, I don't know if I can get her to turn around and show herself. Let's, let's make an attempt here. Hi. Oh, she's chomping pretty hard. That's just a straw, sweetie. It's not food. It's not food. You gotta give it back. She does not want to give this straw back. Okay. Wow. Yeah, she tore that up pretty bad. Holy crap. I was not expecting that. Just seeing if I can get it on the camera here. But yeah, really awesome arboreal species. And I've got a fun little setup for her. I like this little cube. This gorgeous little velvety beast is Loki. She's my Grandma Stola Polkra. Uh, she's only about, I think, three inches in leg span right now, so she's a long way from full grown. Uh, I want to say she's about six or seven years old. I'm not certain without looking that up. But uh, she got the name Loki because... She's got a ton of decorations in here, more that you can't see because they're buried right now. Uh, she likes to redecorate. Uh, she will move things around, bury them. Uh, she likes to push dirt out through the openings over here. Uh, she's all about just changing things up and being weird in general. But uh, she's a cutie pie, really sweet. I uh, can't wait for her to get full grown. Um, I can't get enough of that gorgeous, gorgeous velvet color. Just, I mean, come on. If you don't have a, a polka in your collection, what are you doing? Just, they're, they're one of the perfect spiders. This right here is Lox. Uh, she is the first of my curly hair tarantulas. Uh, Brachypelma albopelosum. Uh, she is the Honduran uh, morph. Uh, slightly less fuzzy than the other version. Uh, not much of a digger. Um, I gave her quite a bit of dirt in this container and she doesn't want to dig at all. She just kind of chills out in the open, sits uh, either right there or right on the, uh, the cork bark here. But uh, another one of my favorite species. I'm, I'm a sucker for that fuzz. So you have to look really hard on this one. Uh, you can see down there at the bottom of the hole some legs. Uh, this is Pollock, my uh, Ephibopus cyanonathus, so my blue fang skeleton. Uh, she's very, very, very shy. Um, I almost never see her, but uh, when I do, it, it's definitely a treat. She's a very pretty spider. Um, you can tell how I feel about blue fangs looking at my hand here. Um, one of my more public tarantula tattoos. Um, now, I've had people ask why I call her Pollock. Well, let me, let me show you here. I've stopped cleaning this off because it's, it's getting to be hilarious. Inside the lid. I don't have any other spider that poops this much or this visually. And... Uh, she even poops through the lid onto other spiders' cages. 
Uh, so if you guys know the, the famous abstract artist uh, Jackson Pollock does uh, splatter paintings or what he's famous for. So that's where she gets her name. But um, really neat spider, but she has a bit of uh, just pet dirt, basically. Uh, but when I do get to see her, yeah, yeah, it's totally worth it. And uh, she is well past her life expectancy. Uh, she is 16 years old now. Is it 16? Am I doing that wrong? She's 17. Wow. Okay, she is 17 years old and uh, been with me her entire life. I got her at first instar. And uh, yeah, she's traveled with me from Florida to uh, Oklahoma and then here to New York. So really cool. And I just noticed the camera did this one upside down. So I hope that's not too disorienting. Uh, let me see if I can do this without disturbing too much here. Trying not to show that there's a little bit of moldy food in here today. Well, everyone's going to be buried, but uh, these are a colony of buffalo beetles. Um, I got them to clean out the lobster colony uh, initially, and they overpopulated and started eating the baby lobsters before they could uh, finish a mold. So they didn't do what we wanted them to. That said, their larvae, their mealworms basically, are much, much smaller than the mealworms you can buy uh, at the pet store. So they're really great for first instar spiderlings. So we're keeping just enough of a colony to breed for that purpose. Oh, I can see one right down here now. Again, don't mind the uh, slightly moldy cat food I have to take out here. Um, but yeah, we've got probably about 100 in here, uh, all buried at the moment. And again, the moldiness is just because we've been humid as fuck lately. Here's another really cool one. Uh, you can see right there is my Hadrius Arizonius. Uh, it's the, oh God, what's the common name? I think it's just dire, giant desert scorpion. They're from Arizona. Um, this one's not full grown. It's maybe four inches long right now. And they get about five, five and a half full grown. Um, really cool little thing. But the thing that makes this enclosure really cool, you can kind of see it right there. Let me pull this out. Oh, they're going to play dead. So there are some death feigning beetles in here, the little blue death feigning beetles. Uh, adorable little guys. Oh, there's the other one. So they're both from the same habitat, and uh, they're very tolerant of each other. And the uh, death fanning beetles clean up what the centipede doesn't finish. Um, they also eat cat food and fruit and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the little beetles are absolutely adorable. And the uh, scorpion can't pinch or sting them and end up hurting them, so it doesn't bother. So yeah, they do really well living together. I see the uh, beetles sleeping with the scorpion all the time. Something I never expected I would be keeping, let alone keeping together. So yeah, pretty badass. Let me keep watching here, see if they, uh... Yep. See, they're touching, they don't bother each other. Really cool. Now we're in on a bunch of spiderlings. Um, this is Polino Bias Mudicans, uh, the uh, King Baboon. Uh, had a lot of problem with uh, burrow cave-ins, no matter what substrate I was using. So I got a little creative with the setup. And uh, she's pretty chill in here. She doesn't seem to mind. Uh, usually out and visible, which is nice. Um, you can see she treats the entire thing like it's part of a burrow, which is really nice. Uh, much better than just doing a tall, deep setup and never seeing her. Well, this one was out until I opened the lid. Um, had it in a different enclosure up until recently. It got a little too big for that. It's uh, my Harpectera pulchra peas. Uh, absolutely beautiful spider. I'm going to see if I can tease her back out. I don't know. She's usually a healthy eater. So hopefully this works. Okay, just going to try and prod her out. 
You can see those beautiful silver legs already. Come on out, sweetie. I just want to see how pretty you are. There she is. So, still a spiderling. But, I mean, come on, that color. I just picked this up recently, and it's, it's easily one of my favorite old world spiders now. Definitely one I want to get more of and start breeding down the line. Well, we've got a little no-show here. Um, oh, we can see a little bit of a butt there. Uh, this is my Canthoscuria geniculata spiderling. Uh, only about an inch long. This is a little chunky monkey here. Uh, this is a little baby uh, Nanducromatus. Uh, I think I've got a male here, just from the growth rate, but I can't be sure yet. Uh, as you guys might know, my favorite fet tarantula I had was my uh, adult female who lived to be about 16 years old. Oh, you don't like the light following you in your burrow? Yeah, really cool species. Another one I highly recommend keeping. This is one we definitely won't see. Uh, this is my Montrose Centropus spalforei colony. I've got three little ones in here. Um, all really good eaters. I never find any leftover food. And I've been finding molts. They're getting up to about a little over an inch long now. But uh, yeah, I almost never see them unless I come in the bug room late at night and don't turn the lights on. I just use a flashlight. So pretty shy. Hopefully I'll see more of them as they get bigger. This little thing is a bit of an anomaly. Uh, this is my Aphonopelma calcotes. And uh, she, I know it's a she, even though it's just a hair over an inch long. Uh, she is, I think, five or six years old, maybe seven at this point. Um, this is the slowest growing tarantula I have ever owned. But uh, I'm a big fan of Aphonopelmas. I think they're pretty awesome spiders with cool personalities and really neat uh, carapace shape. So I'm willing to forgive the slow growth rate. This, this is probably going to be with me till the day I die, uh, just at the rate she's going. So you can see there's a buried water dish under there and then a buried water dish over here. Oh, I just can't keep a water dish in this cage. Right, I'm going to open these at the same time. Um, these are my Asian forest uh, scorpions. Um, Heterometris spinifer, I believe is the Latin. Uh, these two are siblings. So they're both about the same size. Um, still not full grown. Um, got a long time to go with them. Um, I still haven't decided if I'm going to look into breeding these or not. But uh, they're really cool uh, scorpions. Uh, absolutely massive, even though they're not full grown. But yeah, fairly, on the sh fairly shy. Uh, they don't like attention very much. Almost got a picture of this one. Maybe I do get a picture of this one. Uh, this is my spiderling of Heteroscordra maculata. I'm a big fan of the black and white pattern on these guys with the pink toenails. Um, but yeah, when they're little, you don't really get to see much of them. Ooh, we got a fresh molt here. Um, as you can probably tell, this is my Chromatopelma cyan pubescens, uh, or green bottle blue. We're starting to see some adult colors. Wow, you are gorgeous. Um, I have sexed this as female before, so I am looking forward to watching her grow up and get to build me some awesome webs. As you can see, she's already quite the webber. But, oh my god. This is my first time seeing her since she molted. I didn't know she molted until I opened this just now. And wow, I'm, I'm loving this. Uh, looks like she's still hardening a little bit. Yeah, those colors. Another one of those tarantulas that pretty much everyone should have one of these in their collection, I think. So I'm not going to open this one all the way because of those three little letters right there. This one likes to run on me. Kind of caught a glimpse of some feet there. But yeah, this is my orange bitey thing, uh, Terranicolus murinus. Um, you can see her right down there. And uh, yeah. She's orange and she's very bitey and pretty awesome. So here's the uh, spider I consider the best beginner species for tarantula keepers. Also one that likes to flip over water dishes. 
Uh, this is a Grandma Stola Poker Peas or a Choco Goldeny. And this is a, uh, I don't know, reasonably sized uh, young male. And uh, a couple days after shooting this video, he is going to go live with my nephew down in Florida and be my nephew's first ever pet tarantula. And I'm really, really excited to see how he ends up liking him. So, fingers crossed on that one. Oh, do you want to come out and play? Is that what we're doing here? Don't you dare. See that? He was thinking about going for my finger and tasting it. You taste with your fingertips, not with your fangs. Little dork. Cute little dork, though. Gonna miss you, little dork. I gotta get a new one of these as soon as I can. Been trying to get a female for 20-some years now and still haven't succeeded. Well, I promised you more curly hairs, and this is one of them. Um, this is one of my younger ones. Uh, just recently got this from my wife. She ended up with a bunch because she doesn't label her spiders very well. I still love her, but damn, I wish she'd label her spiders better. Um, looking at this one, it could be a hybrid. It's really not something I can be clear on. But since this has just been listed as Brachypelma species for four years now, I'm really not very clear on what I've got here. I also might just have Nicaragua and Honduran curly hairs mixed up in my head, which is definitely a possibility. Um, I'm not very good with, with uh, adding country names onto things. Another little baby down here. Uh, this is a... Uh, about a one inch, maybe just under one inch, uh, Brachypelma hamori, so a Mexican red knee. Uh, you can kind of see the stripes at this size, but it's going to be a long time before I see color in this girl. Well, I was going to open this one up, but someone is already trying to escape, so this one's going to stay closed. Uh, this is my new spiderling of uh, Postletheria miranda. Tons of cool web down here. Uh, this is another spiderling I just recently got. Let's see if we can see it down either of the holes. This is my uh, Ephiba pusmurinus, the uh, traditional skeleton tarantula. Um, apparently it's opened the burrow downward as well, so it goes where I can't see it anymore. So, still little, teeny. Um, got a lot of growing to do still. Really cool to see extra web in here today, though. So here's a couple of cuties. Uh, these are Avicularia variegata, or uh, just common pink toes. Uh, these are ones that we bred here at home. Um, this was part of my PhD work, was I was doing some breeding work with these. Um, another one looks like it just molted. Yep, you just molted. You can see the little molt right there. That one doesn't want to be visible, but this one does. Um, just judging by the different growth rates of both of them, I'm pretty sure this one is a girl and this one is a boy. Um, the boy is about a molt ahead of the other one. And I mean, they're getting the exact same food. So moving into my wife's Rachel's collection. Um, this is her Grandma Stola Pokra, adult female. Uh, she has been bred. We're just waiting on an egg sac and you can see she's quite a hefty girl. Fun story about this one is I got my wife into tarantulas when we first started dating and for her birthday the very first year we were together I bought her this adult female pulchra. Uh, it had just recently matured and uh, that was 15 years ago. So this girl is probably around 20 some years old like low 20s, still healthy, still active, absolutely wonderful spider. Her name's Maggie, by the way. Uh, Rachel tends to do very, very human names for her pets. So I'm not going to try to reach all the way down in here, but this is Rachel's Pocilotheria metallica, adult female. Uh, she was bred to my male before we shipped him out for breeding, so we're just waiting on babies. Yeah, really pretty spider. She's 
apparently recently pooped on the glass, so we need to clean that off. But yeah, who doesn't love that blue? No, camera's not going to let me focus on the spider anymore because the poop. I promised you another, so here's Rachel's adult female, Carabina Versicolor. You can see the colors are a little drab. She's in need of a molt. She's a bit of a chunky girl, too. Um, just absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. Um, we need to start looking for males so we can do some breeding with her. I would not mind having another 50 to 100 of these around the house. Little Civicularia variegata. Uh, this adult female right here is the one that has produced babies for us twice now. And uh, we're definitely going to be breeding her again. She really seems to like being a mom. Uh, she's made us an uh, unfertilized sack a couple of times. Um, we don't bother pulling egg sacs with her. She's great at uh, taking care of them all the way to the end. Um, just a really sweet and absolutely gorgeous pink toe. I mean, come on, look at those feet. How can anyone not love those cute little pink feet? All right, this one right here is Rachel's Brachypoma alba pelosum, Nicaragua morph, uh, the extra floofy kind, which is why the spider is named Floof. I just can't get over how fuzzy they are. Such a pretty, pretty spider. Now this one's a species I'm not very familiar with. Uh, this is her Grandma Stola Grossa. Uh, she just picked it up at a reptile show about six months back. And uh, I think it's molted once in our care. But I, it's got that pretty coppery color to it, especially on the abdomen there. But again, I know next to nothing about this species. Uh, this is more Rachel's thing than mine. Now for Rachel's passion project, and you can see the molt right there. Uh, this is Damon Diadema, or Tailless Whip Scorpions. You can see it right there. This one's a female, and just such a cool-looking alien animal. Um, like, as mean as they look, they're completely harmless and fairly friendly. But yeah, so cool. They've got legs modified into feelers, so they kind of function like antenna. You can see it's a really flattened out animal. Um, they live in the crevices between rocks, so they kind of have to learn how to exist in two dimensions. Yeah, you can see how it kind of feeling around, trying to figure out what's going on. Why is it so bright? I bet you can think of uh, what movies have been influenced by these little critters. So there are a couple of movies that have used them as inspiration for their monsters. But again, these are totally harmless, beneficial little bugs. And by the way, if it's not clear, I use bugs as a term of endearment. I only have one true bug in the house, which we will get to soon. So I've got another enclosure here with some more... Uh, Tailless whip scorpions in it. Um, I believe these are Damon variegata. Uh, there's no label on the cage though. Uh, this is one of the smaller morphs, which is why they're not housed together. Uh, there's a couple in here, but they're really hard to find sometimes. But yeah, you can see the one right here. Yep. And it's gone. This is one of the unlabeled and unknown Brachypelma. Um, we really don't know what this one is. All we know is it's a Brachypelma species. Um, it's just a hair over an inch, maybe almost two inches, but uh, too small to tell still, at least as someone who doesn't really specialize in Brachypelma. So here's another one of Rachel's really pretty adults. Um, this girl is affectionately called the bitch. Um, she is quite a hair kicker. I don't know if it's visible right now. But Brachypelma bomai, um, really cool looking spider, just not the f most pleasant uh, personality wise. Um, all you have to do is like walk by the cage and she's kicking hairs. Uh, she had a molt recently, which is why she doesn't look completely bald. It's 
still definitely worth looking at, I think. Oh, looks like we might only get legs on this one. Uh, this is her newest uh, brachy, uh, Brachypelma epicuranium. At least we're labeling them now. We have some kind of label on that. But yeah, another one I'm not very familiar with, so I can't tell you too much about that species. This is another one of the unknown Brachypelma. Um, for all I know, it could be another Epicuranium, but we will find out as it gets bigger. Cool new addition to Rachel's collection. I finally talked her into getting a Nandu Chromatis. Uh, it's brand new. She hasn't even been through a full molt with it yet, I don't believe. But you can start to see those stripes coming in. Uh, hopefully we have a little girl over here so she can appreciate how great this species is. Another of Rachel's little ones. This is her grandma stole the poker peas. So we got another little Choco Golden Knee down here. Not going to try and shake your hand though. Not after the last one tried to think about nibbling on me. We're getting into Rachel's big love now, but this one wants to hide. Let's see if I can tease it out. Curious. Are you going to come out and say hi so I can show everyone what you are? Come on. You can come out and say hi. I see your face. Come on out. I don't want to mess with your hide. It's so pretty. You got a nice burrow. Come on up. Okay, we're going to be a butt. Oh, she's got some more of these, so we will get to show it off. But uh, this is a young little whip scorpion. Um, oh, what is the Latin on these? It's M. giganteus, but I can't remember what the M stands for. But yeah, these are really, really cool animals. Um, yeah, we'll see if the next one wants to come out and play with it. Yay, we got one showing up. So this is one of Rachel's whip scorpions, vinegaroons, whatever you want to call them. Um, just an amazing animal. Um, once again, totally harmless. They look scary. I've been pinched by one, you barely even feel it. Um, they can spray you with acetic acid, which smells like vinegar, which is how they get their names. You can see it's got the, uh, the tail and two legs modified to function kind of like antennas. And uh, the pedipalps are little claws on the front that they use to grab their prey. Just totally awesome animal. It does not like this bright light. I'm sorry, I gotta do a video and you're so pretty and I wanna show you off. So yeah, Rachel's hoping to do some breeding with these. Um, again, one of her favorite animals. Um, she's won me over on them as well. I'm quite fond. Just one of those things most people don't appreciate that would be really cool. It's definitely worth trying to get one. We found a time machine for one of my spiders. Uh, this is Rachel's little baby, Lassadora parahibana. Um, they start out absolutely microscopic, so this one's, I'd say, a year and a half old, maybe. Uh, it's about an inch and a half in leg span. Really cute little guy. You can only spot Lassadora with those really long first pair of legs. Uh, it's one of the easy to spot characteristics of that genus. So if you haven't figured it out, we like curly hairs. Uh, this is another Brachypelma albopilosum. Uh, this is the Nicaraguan morph, confirmed. Um, still really, really teeny. Long way to go on the growth here. This is another teeny tiny one that's kind of hard to see. I think I see legs down there. Uh, this is Brachypelma albiceps. 
So see, I'm, I'm, I'm getting her to, to label a little better now. Okay, this little weirdo has moved its hide around and shredded it. That's new. A uh, really cool little spider. This is Grandma Stola I Hearing Guy. Basically, I think it's, uh, oh, what's the common name? It's got red rump in it. Um, it's the red rump of the Grandma Stolas. Uh, nice color, jet black as adults with that bright red abdomen. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? Grandma Stolas are really good pet spiders. Now, this is one that used to be mine. I just recently gave it to Rachel. Uh, this is a red phase rose hair, uh, Grandma Stola Rosia. Um, still really teeny teeny. You can see how little there. Oh, I broke my nail. If you guys notice, these are getting a little shorter as I go. It is hot as hell in the bug room today. Okay, last one of Rachel's collection, like specifically of her collection. Uh, this is her green bottle blue, uh, Chromanopelma cyan pubescence. Uh, you can see it's just a tiny bit smaller than mine. Um, we're from different egg sacs, but uh, still happy, healthy Weber. Just, oh my god, so pretty. Gotta love those tiger stripe butts. So I'm on the downstairs bugs now. Um, this is one of our shared roach colonies. Uh, we'd like to get it to all wood in the near future, but for the moment it's got some egg crates. So we have two roach colonies in here. You can see we have this and cockroaches. Oops, she didn't want to hiss for me. And we have the giant cave roaches, or pepper roaches, whatever you want to call them. I'm trying not to block the camera. They're really cool. Nice docile roach. But yeah, they're in a 55-gallon aquarium with a couple buffalo beetles to keep them company, keep it clean in there. Uh, there's some isopods as well. But yeah, they're all breeding really, really well. Uh, they just got watered down this morning. So this is our normal pet. I put normal in quotes, normal. Uh, this is Dr. Zoidberg. Uh, he's a little sphinx kitty. Um, he's also a bambino, so he's got stubby little legs. But yeah, he's a little sweetie pie. He knows how adorable he is, too. What's up, buddy? Yeah, that's our one semi-normal pet. So I also have this fish tank over here. Um, up until recently, this was a beta tank, but it's all live plant. Everything's live. You can see a little uh, bumblebee goby down here with his grumpy little face. They're adorable. Um, today, we just added some shrimp to it. Uh, so we've got blue shrimp, red shrimp, we've got some calico, um, all kinds of pretty little shrimp. They're still getting settled in, they're a little shy, um, but yeah, there's a couple down there. But yeah, it's a five gallon self-contained bio cube. Really pretty fish tank. And yeah, we have, we have toys everywhere. Just, yeah, lots of toys. Okay, I've reached the last critter of the day. Um, these are brand new to our collection. And they are assassin bugs. Um, of course, I forgot to look up the Latin before I started. They're the, uh, the horrible spiny assassins. Uh, I have three little ones and one adult right now. Uh, they were a gift from a friend of mine. Yeah, there you go. There's the adult. Um, about two inches long, really cool looking. Uh, these things have a horrifically bad bite if you get bitten by them, but they're really docile. Um, I pet them and they don't really do anything. Still, not something I want to take a chance with. So I'm going to get my hands out of here as quickly as I can. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this look at our collection. Um, you got to see everybody today. Even Zoidberg. But uh, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.